the most magnificent sites on planet Earth, in my view. I've been here three times now. It's called Machu Picchu, which means apparently Old Peak. We're 8,000 feet above sea level, up in the Andes, this uh, mountain range that basically goes right down the, the west coast of South America. And down there, 1,500 feet uh, below us, is the Urumbamba River, which under its um, old name, its real name, Wikamayu, uh, is Inca for sacred river, holy river. It's funny, when I first came here in 1991 to Peru, uh, my life changed. I won't go into that now because I'm going to uh, go in a few days to the place where my life changed and I'll, I'll be producing a film next weekend um, uh, from there explaining all that.
Um, if you look at uh, Machu Picchu, the city there, and then you look at the mountain, that's Hawaii Picchu, that's, uh, that means young peak. Machu Picchu apparently means old peak. Do you, do you know something? See that? People climb that bloody thing, right? And they say, uh, how long does it take? They say, oh, it's only an hour and a half. In your dreams, mate. Hour and a half up there and back. Crikey. Need a bloody, what do you call it, air ambulance? I would halfway up. Anyway, um, uh, when you look at that, it's just like a mountain and a few things going off it. But when you, you turn the camera, we, we will show you this, uh, on, its, on the other side, you'll see that it's actually a face. That uh, mountain in the middle there is the nose, and then it goes to the top of the head, and there's the chin and everything. Um, and uh, it, it, there's some absolutely amazing information in, uh, in, in, in Malcolm's books, and I, I do recommend them. Uh, they, they, are, they are in English. Um, but, you know, Peru for me has been life-changing um, because of what I'll talk about next week at the place where it, it, it basically happened. Um, and I've had some strange experiences since I've been here. Uh, but what are we? Thursday, uh, two days ago. Um, we, we had to get up early at the hotel, four o'clock in the morning, uh, to get the early train to get, to get here. And uh, I, I got up and I was fine and I was in the bathroom and then I walk out the bathroom, the room's over there, so I'm turning left and I'm walking towards the, into the room. And um, I couldn't walk straight and I couldn't walk to the right. The only, the only thing I could do was walk to the left. It was like, it was like I was drunk, but only half my brain, uh, half of my brain was sober, you know what I mean? And it was like, if I was walking towards you now, the camera, I was doing that. I couldn't stop myself. Um, and, uh, and then I started to feel really ill as if I was about to faint. And I, you know, in my mind I said, oh, I, I've got to lie down on the bed. And as I walked towards the bed, because I've, I've tried for three or four minutes, keep continually trying to walk straight, thinking what the heck's happening here? Well, I didn't use the word heck, but something close. And um, as I walked towards the bed to lie on it, suddenly, boom, as quick as it came, it went. And um, I'm standing there bewildered, what just happened? And this, this voice in my head, very, very clear, said, not to worry, we've just flipped your brain. Your brain just flipped, I think that, that, that was the, the, the term. And that from now on, I would start decoding reality differently. Um, and... Uh, so I get dressed, kind of in a bewildered state. I go down and meet other people at, 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 at breakfast before we, we get in the bus to the station to, to come here. And Sean was sitting next to me. Um, and uh, I went into, I, I was feeling really strange, and I went into this, shall we say, state of awareness that wasn't in this world. Um, I was looking at Sean, sitting right next to me, Sean at Webmaster and he was in a different dimension a different reality to me and I looked around the room and people were chatting and they were not in the same reality that I was in and this lasted for about an hour and a half as, as I we got on the bus and on the train about halfway through the train journey I just started to you know be me again or, or be where I normally am in this reality so what that was all about I don't know and what else is to come, I don't know, because, you know, my experience of Peru is that I never leave it the same as I arrive. And we've got a few days yet, and uh, I'll talk to you more next week from the Stone Circle, where, where basically, well, my life changed, yes, but it was the biggest, most, in, the biggest individual experience, shall we say, 1991, February 1991 that put me on the path to me standing here now and doing what I do.
there's only one thing you really need to know. Infinite love is the only truth. Everything else is illusion. <laughs>